Hello everyone and welcome back to the Game Shed with me Mark and welcome to another tutorial video for the PS Classic. Today's tutorial is how do you update from BleemSync 0.4.1 to BleemSync 1.0. Now because 1.0.1 has now been released, the best thing you can do is update to 1.0 and then just copy the 1.0.1 files over the top. So let's get into it guys, let's make sure that we can do this and we can do this easily. So first things first, I wanna show you my PlayStation Classic right here and as you can see, this is my 0.4.1 build and I've only got a couple of games on there for you to see. So let's take out the USB stick from the PlayStation Classic and plug it into our PC. There we go. There's my 0.4.1 build. Right, so as per the instructions here on modmyclassic.com forward slash bleemsync, you can see First thing to do, insert your existing BleemSync USB drive into your computer. Browse to the root of your USB drive and delete the following folders. Let's put them in order. Right, so it's that one, uh, that one, and lolhack. Right, so let's delete these. Hit enter and watch those disappear in front of your eyes. Download the BleemSync 1.0 zip package and extract it to your computer. Okay, let's do that. Here's the 1.0 package. I will leave the, all the links that I go to in the description below. So here's 1.0. Let's save that. And once that's downloaded, you can load it on. So that is BleemSync 1.0 downloaded right here. As you can see, there's two folders within the zip file that you download. All you have to do at this stage is copy those over to the USB drive. So apologies if you heard any background noise before, birds cheeping, all that kind of stuff. I had the window open, didn't even realise. So it's very bright and sunny here today, so it's been really difficult to get the levels right. And unfortunately I messed that up by leaving the window open. So there we go, the files are copied over, as you can see here. Next thing you have to do is unplug the USB from your PC. And so, get your PlayStation Classic out and unplug the HDMI and the power and then plug the USB into the second port on the PlayStation Classic, just like so. Plug those things back in, the HDMI and the power, and wait for the light to light up. It should go orange. So once you see the orange light on your PlayStation Classic, simply power it up. So I'm just gonna show you my PlayStation Classic right here. Let's power this up and see what happens. It should just display a install complete type screen let's see oh it's doubled up on the Sony interactive pretty sure we went through all this before when we installed 1.0 hopefully we should see bleem sync yes we do and then moving on the initial hack is now complete the console will restart in five seconds so once it's powered off the way you can verify that this has worked is by switching it back on let's watch that go back on and we should end up on the bleem sync screen so here we go, I can verify that that has worked nicely because I'm at the boot menu. As you can see, if I click on BleemSync, I can verify that it's worked, hopefully, by seeing all the games on the carousel. Here we go, look at that, all the games, including my original two, Crash Bandicoot and CTR, Crash Team Racing. It is all there, we are good to go. So power off your PlayStation at this stage, go back to your PC like this, so at this stage, as before, make sure to pull the USB stick out of your PlayStation Classic, put it back into your PC, as so. Let's minimize that. And then you wanna back up what you've got in here to a folder, let's say on your desktop. Bleem sync back up like that. Back up everything off of your USB on into this folder, as so. And that may take some time dependent on what USB you're using. So that's all the folders copied off of the USB stick. Now the reason we've done that is so that we can format the USB stick to XFAT or NTFS dependent on your preference, which makes everything a whole lot nicer and cleaner and work better. So drop on over to your computer again, right click on Sony E and format. Change this to XFAT. I would suggest XFAT is the one that's worked the best for me. Quick format, off you go. That is now formatted to XFAT. Open it up and then put all those folders back 
onto the USB. So once that's all copied across, you now have a functional USB that is XFAT format and ready to go for your PlayStation Classic. 1.0 now gives you the capability to power the PlayStation Classic from your PC port rather than the actual power plug. So that is a massive bonus as you would have seen if you'd watched any of the previous videos. So what I need you to do now is power off the PlayStation Classic as always, unplug the USB from your PC, plug it into port 2 in your PlayStation Classic and put the power back in. And what you'll find is the light comes on and shows you that it's working. Okay, so let's power that on. Let's head on over to our PlayStation Classic and have a look at what we've got. Fingers crossed this should all be okay. <laughs> so we should be upgraded from 0.4.1 to 1.0 now. Perfect. Okay, so there's Bleem Sync. So there is the Bleem Sync boot menu. Let's get our controller ready and let's head on over to Bleem Sync to make sure it's worked. Let's see, let's see. Come on, I should have all the games. There we go. And I've got my couple of games that I added previously. Perfect. Okay, let's power that off again. And let's power the PlayStation Classic back on again. And let's get to the Bleem Sync menu and then we'll be able to browse to it via the web user interface. That is where all the good stuff happens. So let's do that right now. There's the Sony menu. There we are, there's the boot menu. So now we should be able to, let's turn the music down. Now we should be able to go back onto our PC and open up a new tab in our browser. Type in bleemsyncui.com, hit enter. And hopefully it should load up with the user interface. And there we go, it loaded up and it uses the address 169.254.215.100 colon 5000. So guys, if you get any issues with bleemsyncui.com, make sure to put this address into your browser. If you also get any issues with the page not loading, make sure to just give it a go another time. Just hit enter on that and make sure that you can get to it. So this is the user interface for those that haven't seen it already. You do have some preferences here, so if you click on preferences like that, we are able to take away and add a few things. So first of all, enable quick boot. So let's get rid of the Sony animation splash screen. Let's disable the health warning and let's make RetroArch the emulator for the stock UI. This one's very, very useful. Once we've done that, scroll right the way down and click save. A reboot is required for changes to apply. That's fine, absolutely fine. So uh, if you've done this right, the games that you added before, previously to your 0.4.1 build should be there. You can see those right like that. You can add a new game if you want by clicking add a new game and browse. And then you wanna add a new game, you just highlight it like that, click open. So I'll just move me out of the way because I'm actually in the way of a very important button right there called Add Game. So click on Add Game and it will load. So now we've added Wipeout XL to our build. We can switch back on over to the PlayStation Classic as so. Go to Bleem Sync and we should see it right there in the menu. Let's have a look. Wipeout XL. Okay, so I'm going to power off the PlayStation Classic at this stage because some of the changes I made within those Bleem Sync preferences will only take effect once I reboot the PlayStation Classic. So let's have a look. Hopefully we'll have a much quicker start up to the PlayStation Classic. As you can see, Bleem Sync and onto the Bleem Sync menu. If I click on Bleem Sync now, we shouldn't see that health and safety warning straight into the games. There you go, guys. So that's it. That's how you upgrade from 0.4.1 to 1.0. If you want to then upgrade to 1.0.1, click on the card that I'm going to put above. That will tell you how to do it. I'll also add that video to the end of this video. Blimey, there you go. I've managed to make that video at last. Guys, thank you so much for bearing with me on that one. Hopefully that does it for you and you'll be able to then do the install of 1.0 over the top of 0.4.1. Thank you all very much again. Really appreciate you coming along. See you all next time.